Hey, it's me, Jimmy D, and welcome back to me consistently updating y'all on Black Widow solo movie news. I've d come together with Cody here. Hello. And we've decided to call this Widow Watch. So, I wanted to wait a little bit before releasing these, like, two-minute uh, videos on Black Wid the Black Widow solo movie. I wanted to have enough information to make a good video on so we have quite a bit actually to talk about um the first thing and the major thing that i am excited for and i'm pretty Both sure yeah cody's excited for too um is the fact that the possibility of taskmaster being the villain we have these set photos here that show a masked person looks very menacing in a tank going down budapest Okay, and if you look at the mask carefully, you can see what looks like some white, and it sort of gives that like cheek, crossbone, skull uh, look that Taskmaster has. And also on the back of this costume, it looks like a little bit of a flat for a hood. And the Taskmaster is known for having a hood. So the possibility of this being Taskmaster is pretty high, if not confirmed. Um, um. But, I'm super excited about it because, to me, Taskmaster could have only worked really well in two possible films or series. Uh, Black Widow being one of them, of course. Yes. And Spider-Man. Yeah. Because I think Spider-Man would have worked really well being that as intellectually smart. Yeah. It is being that Taskmaster's whole thing is that just by a quick seconds he can already study your movements and fighting styles. Which is so it's all right. Well, how would yeah, how would Peter come into when he meets him multiple times? Like, him not really as a villain, but kind of as, like, a foil. Yeah. He taskmaster a couple times. How in this situation is he going to handle him knowing he can't handle him the same way? It best reminds me from the Arkham games when you have to fight Mr. Freeze. Yeah. His whole boss fight is he adapts to it. So you can't really attack him the same way. You have to find new ways to hurt him. Which is going to be really interesting with Black Widow because her training in the Red Room and her fight style is pretty iconic and they'll have to change it up consistently throughout the movie to fit Taskmaster because he's going to be constantly learning Black Widow's fight style. Um, I really hope it is Taskmaster because... We need better villains in the MCU. Yes, Thanos is great, but Thanos is also dead. Um, uh, yes, Killmonger was great, but Killmonger is also dead <laughs> until they decide to bring him back. And Loki has died to come back so many times that he's no longer really a villain. He's kind of like an anti-hero. Um, so, and and I know that like even the Russo brothers and Feige and everybody kept confirming that, yo, know, for real, Loki is dead. But then there's also that cynical part of me to which it's like, but guys, it's comic books. Yeah. People don't die in comics. Yeah, exactly. Um, Speaking of the Red Room, that goes into, I guess, it, thing number two. Yes. And I kind of, I'm kind of excited for is I do hope they expand more into the Red Room because they, the last they honestly touched on it was Age of Ultron. Yes. And it was very I, short. And it was very short. Like, they gave a blast. They gave a stick. Yeah. It, so now that we're doing this kind of solo thing, that is very interesting because there's a lot you can work with there. Yes. Um, especially what we think is uh, Florence Pugh's character, um, Yina Belova. Um, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of that. But she is a, a another widow from the red room which she's slightly younger um if you don't know who uh florence Pugh is she played the main character in the recent movie fighting with the family about the wwe yeah um oh yeah she, she's a story about Paige. yeah i gotcha yeah um but having a second widow not only um which that raises that's very interesting because that raises questions that well obviously the red room is still active you know yeah. and and um, depending on where this movie is taking place definitely escalates that um, yeah it, it does because if like if this is the past but it's 
you know, she's a younger Black Widow, then how old is the original Black Widow? If it's the future, how? <laughs> you know, if it's the present, how? <laughs> or even if it's in the past, what's going to happen? Depending on what that character's arc is through this movie, how is Black Widow's death going to affect her coming on in the future of the MCU? Because this Black Widow could ultimately, um, this Widow could ultimately take um, OG Widow's place in the present day and future MCU movies while maintaining a Black Widow trilogy. That, that that could be kind of like kind of like cap passing down the shield yeah it's sort of that that a second widow um coming in for the future um to take over his role um number three i think well i'll let you go into why i'm most excited yeah and i don't know if this is your thing is number three it's fucking budapest yes budapest uh, has been teased so much about this <laughs> So much about this is the first Avengers in 2010, okay? Waiting for not really a confirmation for at least a leak of Jeremy Renner on set. Yeah. And while, yes, they could be just filming in Budapest and not actually be Budapest, but way to fuck with us. <laughs> yeah. Like, 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 don't don't be like, oh, we're just filming in Budapest. So this is actually, this is supposed to be like a Russian or, you know, like a covert, you know, like, Czechoslovakian mission. It's like, no. No, you can't you can't from day one keep teasing Budapest and even in Especially Endgame. Yeah, especially even in Endgame. They because no, they hadn't talked about Budapest at all. Yeah. Except for Endgame. I was like, all right, well, you know, you it's you obviously still talk enough about it to where it's like, okay, guys, seriously, what the hell happened? Yeah. Um thing that like Nothing will ever compare to it. We don't ever talk about it. You know, this wild and crazy thing that supposedly happened way before, you know, what we currently know of now. But anyways, let us know your thoughts below. What are your top three things that you want to see or are excited about it for the Black Widow movie? Let us know in the comments below. And like always, I will see you in the next one. Later.